everyone, and today is part four of how to draw a dragon puppet. So here this is, and if you're wondering what the noise is in the background, if you can hear it, then that's my brother watching his uh, TV. I think he's watching some kind of superhero movie. But let's get started. So this is going to be the mouth part for the... Uh, mouth on this so yeah let's get started uh okay so we're coloring and we're gonna be coloring the uh black part the so right here i'll i think one of the uh, markers that i was using the other day I think that those have a nice black. Is that a black? It has a blue or black. Looks kind of blue, but just let me make sure. Oh yeah, that's blue. Okay. Well, I'll find some kind of black. Okay, after searching many places, I finally found it. It works! And it's as black as I needed to. Uh, it might look a bit too gray on the screen. Like on the screen it looks kind of gray. But uh, in real life, it's not super gray. So let's use it. Okay. I'm so glad that I finally found the black because I've been searching for a while. I think I already told you guys that, but... Then let's like get around this little places. Well, I hope this ends up turning out good. This one might be my main dragon, so uh, I might change it sometime, but for now, this will probably be my main dragon once it's done. Uh, right now I don't have a main dragon puppet, so. At first I'm kind of, I was kind of thinking of the cat puppet that I made, but. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, and hopefully this video doesn't just stop in the middle of it, but the. Last one, part three of this, I'm pretty sure it didn't just randomly stop, so that's good. So I don't think it'll stop this time, but uh, hopefully. <laughs> and you might also hear her snapping in the background because my brother's snapping and just sitting in a room snapping just like yesterday. <laughs> I guess he just loves snapping now. I'm excited to have the uh, more dragons. <coughs> okay. Ah. Uh. And I'm thinking, like, over here, it could, like, uh, how about, like, right here, it could be, like, a gray. Like, not a super light gray, but you know what I mean. Like, a 
dark kind of gray, but you can still that tell that's not black. Okay, I'll see if I have a uh, gray that would work. Okay, so one of these guys should work. I'm gonna try the black one first. Nope, it looks. Yeah. Hold on. Eh, no. What about this light gray? It probably won't work, but. Hmm. I think I'm, I might have a better gray. And I found another gray, which will probably not work. Uh, yeah, I'll just use the this gray. There. It's honestly a bit better than I thought it would be. That's good. Oh, it's pretty like that. It looks a bit lighter on. Sorry, I don't. Okay. Uh. Now let's finish coloring. Oh wait. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Before we do that, I just thought I thought of something nice that we can do. Uh, use this. So, okay. This part's going to be dark green. And then let's do like there. Okay, there's that. Now let me get to the lighter green. Okay. And now here's the lighter green. There, and I think this is the gray that I was using. Nope, it's the annoying gray. <laughs> okay, so There's that. There. I forgot to outline the ear tufts. But I can just do that now. Mm 
there. Okay, there. <laughs> okay. Which color should these be? The inside of the ears. And by the way. The little nostrils. Ha. <sighs> Maybe I could like mix a uh, pink with the green. Okay, now here's the colors I mixed, uh, and I will not be using those. Huh. I'll go ask my brother what uh kind of color I should use. Okay, so I've asked my brother, and he said gold. So here's the part. And now what we should ask him what eyes we should do. So first uh, I'll do the pimples. I'm thinking of like green. I'm gonna color in the pimples first. And since you guys might be following along, then you can t make sure to do a shine. So do like this big circle and then like that. If you don't, if you decide you don't like any of these kind of shines, then that's okay. You can just color over them with the black. And then now we'll now color the pupil. There. Now let's go ask my brother what eye color it should be. And uh, I've decided to do like a uh, this kind of green. <laughs> okay, so it's just to like start with coloring hard. If you're following along, then start coloring card and then color lighter there like that and then do the same with the other side just make sure not to get this part, or this part. Uh, uh, let's do a little, like, shine right here. then try not to get in the shine but like still like color light like that and now for this part i want to do uh like a bit of orange in the eyes so Okay, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's like orange. I don't think I'll do orange, actually. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean out my 
a desk soon. So, let's do... How about... Hold on, I think this is supposed to be the other way. Uh, let's... Hmm. We can do like a lighter green. I'll do this. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, so there. Uh, there. And there. And there. And. <laughs> I keep on just saying and, so. Maybe I'll stop saying and. And. Okay. Not this. Yep. Okay, so just do something like this, and now color the fur here and the fur here, double around and try not to get, make sure to watch out for the, uh, the, the really pet roots, the really pet roots, uh, and also watch out for the white parts, and... I'll see you when I'm done coming with the black.
Okay. And now that we've covered all of this part, now let's color the wheelie pads. Okay. And I found the color I'll use for the lily pads. So use a tween like this and make sure it looks like it. Um, ah. So just color in the belly pads like that. How about we fix the, dang it, we can't. Uh, okay, well, uh, so take a coloring pencil like this and then start coloring. Here it is. So now let's cut it out. Wait, uh, don't cut it out yet. Uh, sorry I said that. Uh, first, let's go to the window, picture its day, 
Let me go to the window and make sure it's spread out and trace it and you'll have to trace it again. I'll have to trace it twice is the way I know. Or you can copy it. Uh, yeah, just try copying it. How about actually? So I'm try copying the copy of the other side and make sure it has color and make sure it's cop you copy it so that like one coloring is facing this way and then on the you have a other paper with the coloring facing it this way. So let's go copy it. Okay. So you actually don't need to trace it twice. So uh use the so you know the part of the paper behind it and then with the other paper you just put it some way and then the paper with the picture on it you put like the other way so the drawings on the other side uh if you get what i mean so yeah okay so see how i have it you and the back of the paper is like where uh, actually I tipped it uh, too much so I can't really show you guys. Okay, I'll just trace it to like this and make sure the drawing's like facing this way. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that can you do that? Yeah, it does. Uh, hello, Cass. Uh, so just tr start tracing it. Okay. And, uh, so, okay, so when you trace the ear, don't get to the little torn part. Uh, and that's, or, and you can also do, like, a torn part somewhere else. But you can leave the torn part if you want, but I'm not going to. Okay, uh, so now I'll stop the video now. <laughs> Okay, so now goodbye, uh, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye.